thank you for joining me. So in this video what I'd like to do, and this is our uh, third video in designing a logo in uh, Autodesk uh, um, AutoCAD, and our eighth video in regard to putting together a title block in Revit Architecture. So let's go ahead and uh, continue our hatching. What I've done is I completed my uh, design of my logo in regard to uh, the, the bold uh, you know, lettering that's in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and hatch this. But let me show you something different. If we uh, we could choose a hatching if you like, but there are other options in here too. If you click on that down arrow, it gives you the ability to put in a gradient and a boundary. If you just rest over a boundary, we're not going to use this, but it allows you to create a you know within a border a you know a different line type that would surround that boundary. But gradient is one that's kind of neat. You have a couple different options up here. Uh, colored gradients, uh, you can change the colors up here, maybe red to, to, to cyan. This would be appropriate if you're going to create a logo that's going to be color. And uh, if you simply just click on all these items, all this enclosed geometry just like you would with a hatch, it'll make a gradation from one color on one side, red from uh, one side, to uh, cyan on the other side, or whatever colors you choose. Not really appropriate here. If you do make a logo in AutoCAD in color, you want to make sure you do save it as an image so you can import it as an image into your Revit architecture model. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a few minutes. So let's do Control Z and get out of there. So go back to Hatch and just finish our hatching. And even though this is enclosed geometry in different areas, this is going to be one hatch. So when I change the value of this one hatch, it's going to change the value of all the hatches associated with that. So, let's go ahead and click on our hatch. Change the angles, perhaps we want to do that. Oh, that's a dog barking. So, 10 degrees there, maybe the density. You want to make that a little bit more dense than some of the other ones. You could do that. Or, if you just want to match the properties that are already there, if you click on that, go to the Home tab, go to Match Properties, we already have the hatch up there selected and we can make them ha uh, make them match. Alright, sounds good. Text. Let's put some text in here. This is going to say Enterprise Design. Yeah, which is okay. It's going to be an aerial text, but the text is really small. So we do want to make that, make that a little bit bigger. The way we do that is we go up to this value up here. And we're going to make that maybe 0 0.8, 0 0.6, enter. It takes a little bit of iteration, but uh, you might want to uh, play around with that until you get a, you know, the look that you like. And that's, that's pretty darn close. Go to the move command, M is sh uh, short for that. I'm going to move that up a little bit. And just to make sure it kind of matches the logo that's in the background, I'm going to bring that logo back and take a look at it. So I need to put in some more stuff in there, Enterprise and or design and innovations. So I'm going to go ahead and correct that on my own. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to save your AutoCAD file and import it into your Revit model.